Welcome to Coffee with Viking. I am Mike. Cheers. Jeremiah chapter 10. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them, for the customs of the people are vain, for one cutteth a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe, they deck it with silver and with gold, they fasten it with nails and with hammers, that it may not they are upright as the palm tree, they, but they are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. They must needs be born because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil, neither also is it in them to do good. For as much as there is none like unto thee, O Lord, thou art great, and thy name is great in might. Who would not fear thee, O king of nations? For to thee doth it appear. For to thee doth it appertain for so much as among all the wise men of the nations and in all their kingdoms there is none like unto thee, but they are altogether brutish and foolish. They stop. The stock is a doctrine of vanities. Silver spread into plates is silver spread into plates is brought from Tarshish and gold from Euphaz, the work of the workmen and of the hands of the founder. Blue and purple is their clothing. They are all the work of cunning men. But the Lord is the true God, he is the living God, and an, e and an everlasting king. At his wrath the earth shall tremble, and the nations shall not be able to abide his indignation. Thus shall ye say unto them, The gods that have not made the heavens in the earth even they shall perish from the earth and from under these heavens he hath made the earth by his power he hath established the world by his wisdom and has stretched out the heavens by his discretion when he uttereth his voice there is a multitude of waters in the heavens and he causeth the vapors to ascend from the ends of the earth he maketh light lightnings with rain and bringeth forth the wind out of his treasures every man is brutish in his knowledge every founder is confounded by the graven image for his molten image is falsehood and there is no breath in them they are vanity and the work of heirs in the time of their visitation they shall perish. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. Gather up thy wares out of the land, O inhabitant of the fortress, for thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will sling out the inhabitants of the land, at this once and will distress them that they may find it so woe woe is me for my hurt my wound is grievous but i said truly this is a grief and i must bear it my tabernacle is spoiled and all my cords are broken my children are gone forth of me and they are not there is none to stretch forth my tent any more and to set up my curtains. For the pastors are become brutish and have not sought the Lord. 
Therefore they shall not prosper, and all their flocks shall be scattered. Behold, the noise of the bruit is coming. Behold, the noise of the bruit is come in a great commotion out of the north country to make the cities of Judah desolate and a den of dragons. O Lord, I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. O Lord, correct me, but with judgment, not in thine anger, lest thou bring me to nothing. Pour out thy fury upon the heathen that know thee not, and upon the families that call not on thy name. For they have eaten up Jacob, and devoured him, and consumed him, and have made his habitation desolate. Chapter 11 The world that came to Jeremiah, the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Hear ye the words of this covenant, and speak unto the men of Judah, and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and say thou unto them, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Cursed be the man that obeyeth not the words of this covenant which I commanded your fathers in the day that I brought them forth out of the land of Egypt from the iron furnace, saying, Obey my voice and do them according to all which I command you, so shall ye be my people, and I will be your God, that I may perform the oath which I have sworn unto your fathers to give them a land flowing with milk and honey, as it is this day. Then answered I and said, So be it, O Lord. Then the Lord said unto me, Proclaim all these words in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, saying, Hear ye the words of this covenant, and do them. For I earnestly protest, protested unto your fathers in the day that I brought them up out of the land of Egypt, even unto this day, rising early and protesting, saying, Obey my voice. Yet they obeyed not, nor inclined their ear, but walked every one in the imagination of their evil heart. Therefore I will bring upon them all the words of this covenant which I commanded them to do, but they did them not. And the Lord said unto me, A conspiracy is found among the men of Judah and among the inhabitants of Jerusalem. They are turned back to the iniquities of their forefathers, which refused to hear my words, and they went after other gods to serve them. The house of Israel and the house of Judah have broken my covenant, which I made with their fathers. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. Then shall the cities of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem go and cry unto the gods unto whom they offer incense, but they shall not save them at all at at all in the time of their trouble. For according to the number of thy cities, where thy gods, O Judah, and according to the number of the streets of Jerusalem, have ye set up altars to that shameful thing, even altars to burn incense unto Baal. Therefore pray not thou, for this people neither lift up a cry or prayer for them, for I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. What hath my beloved to do in mine house, seeing she hath wrought lewdness with many, and the holy flesh is passed from thee when thou doest evil? Then thou rejoicest. The Lord calleth thy name a green olive tree, fair and of goodly fruit, with the noise of a great tumult. 
he hath kindled fire upon it, and the branches of it are broken. For the Lord of hosts that planted thee hath pronounced evil against thee, for the evil of the house of Israel and of the house of Judah, which they have done against themselves to provoke me to anger in offering in, in offering incense unto Baal. And the Lord hath given me knowledge of it, and I know it. Then thou shew, shewedst me their doings. But I was like a lamb or an ox that is brought to the slaughter, and I knew not that they had devised devices against me, saying, Let us destroy the tree with the fruit thereof, and let us cut him off from the land of the living, that his name may be no more remembered. But, O Lord of hosts, that judgest righteously, that triest the reins in the heart, let me see thy vengeance of them, for unto thee have I rebuilt my cause. Therefore thus saith the Lord of the men of Anathoth, that seek thy life, saying, Prophesy not in the name of the Lord, that thou die not by your hand. Therefore thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will punish them. The young men shall die by the sword. Their sons and their daughters shall die by famine, and there shall be no remnant of them. For I will bring evil upon the men of Anathoth, even the year of their visitation. Stand strong in the word of the Lord. Stay blessed. Stay caffeinated. Much love.